so Samsung just dropped a $30,000 TV. Yeah, 30 grand for a 115 inch display. But it's not any old display. It's micro RGB debuting an all new kind of display technology for Samsung. But Samsung isn't the only TV company developing these next gen LED backlights. So let's break it down in this video. What micro RGB is, why Samsung's 115 inch mega TV matters, and what it looks like up close in person because I actually got to go check it out. Most of the TVs you've seen over the past years and especially here on the channel are either mini LED or OLED. Mini LED TVs have been particularly popular because they can control backlight very precisely. Now micro RGB takes this to the next level. Instead of using white or blue LEDs with color filters, you're actually getting tiny red, green, and blue LEDs all packed together in one singular LED. These LEDs are micro sized We're talking less than 10th of a millimeter. So realistically, they're even smaller than Sony's RGB backlight tech made with mini LEDs that I showed you guys here on the channel a couple months back. So why does that matter? Two big reasons. First, contrast control should be even more precise on micro LED than mini LED because the dimming zones are smaller compared to Samsung's QN90 mini LED TVs this one has four times the dimming control. And second, color volume. This is the real breakthrough, and I don't think the camera here is actually doing it justice to what it looks like in person, if I'm honest, especially those greens and reds. Those are hard to reproduce. Here, they looked realistic, not overly saturated, yet still so vibrant. Samsung claims this 115 inch TV can hit 100% of the BT 2020 color gamut. For context, we have never ever seen a consumer TV reach that. The best that we've tested in our labs so far was actually a Samsung TV, the S95F OLED. That only hit about 90%. We can't talk about Samsung Micro LED without bringing up the wall. Samsung's modular micro LED panels that we've seen pretty much every year at CES or other display trade shows. Those are true micro LED. Proper micro LED is self emissive. It's more like OLED. Every pixel generates its own light. That means perfect blacks, insane brightness, and no risk of burn in over time. I think most people will say that that is still the holy grail of TV technology, but it comes with the high price tags to match. What Samsung has here with micro RGB is still technically LCD based, just with ultra tiny micro RGB LEDs providing the backlight. So think of it more as like a supercharged mini LED rather than the full micro LED experience. That's why the micro RGB costs $30,000 and not $300,000. Proper micro LED displays still cost about as much as a house. A couple of quick things you'll get for that price besides all the micro RGB magic. There's a 144 Hertz refresh rate, which should be pretty good for gaming. And then we also have Samsung's glare free technology, that matte finish on the display it's the same as you'll find on the flagship OLED and mini LED TVs this year. Also worth calling out Samsung's Vision AI software and the art store built in. So yeah, you could use this $30,000 display as the world's biggest digital picture frame. This TV also needed a serious processor to keep up because driving three different colored LEDs per pixel is way more power intensive than just a blue and white LED. So Samsung actually developed the RGB engine AI specifically for this TV. And here is one last kicker. Samsung says the ideal viewing distance for this screen is about 11.5 feet. So I surely hope that your living room is ready for that. The Samsung 115 inch micro RGB TV is massive. It's $30,000 and it might just be the most color accurate consumer display ever made. Without a doubt, we need to benchmark it to back up some of these big claims that Samsung is making. But my real question after getting to go hands on with it is is what this TV means for RGB LEDs as the next big thing in TV displays. Most people aren't going to be getting this in their living room. So that means that this could just be rendered another ultra premium showcase model that only some of us TV reviewers, some ultra rich will be able to see in a showroom. Whereas what I've seen from Sony, and please go watch that full video to fully understand it, it makes me think that the Sony version, which is built off of mini LEDs rather than micro sized LED, could actually be more consumer ready. It's hard to describe it without being able to actually show you, but what I saw with Sony feels more like 
what a real TV could look like. It wasn't some concept, which I think Samsung's micro RGB kind of teeters on. But I don't know. Do you think that it's a mistake for Samsung to be innovating at this level? Or do you think that it's setting up RGB to trickle down to Neo QLED? That would make a lot of sense to me, but sound off on what you think in the comments. If you like this breakdown explainer slash hands-on, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more TV content. Until then, I will be watching movies on my normal 65-inch TV, just like the rest of us. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.